Hey guys, how's it going? NHL Hockey 50 here, and today I'll be running through a tutorial on how to set up a Crazy Craft Minecraft server using the Crazy Craft downloadable server and Hamachi Networks. Crazy Craft is an increasingly popular Minecraft mod pack where crazy things happen. During my server setup, I came across and fixed several issues, so if you're having issues setting up your server too, hopefully this tutorial will help you fix them. First off, we'll need to download some files. The first thing you'll need is the Void Launcher program. All the links for the downloads will be in the description below. Just download this for Windows or whatever you're running, extract the file to wherever you want, and then you'll have the Void Launcher. From this, you can play single player Crazy Craft or join a public server or a friend server, no problem. Now we'll get into making our own server. You'll need to download the Crazy Craft server download file, which is the second link in the description. This file is a zip file, so you'll need to extract it and place it wherever you want. This file is a little over 100 megabytes, so I'll skip to when the download's finished. The download's finished now, and I extracted it and placed it on my desktop. When you open the folder, you'll see a bunch of batch files, and these batch files start up your server. My computer has 10 gigabytes of RAM, so I'll use the batch file that says 10 gigabytes PC. Before you run the batch file, right click on the file and press edit. Right now, 512 megabytes is dedicated to the server operations. I like to dedicate 3.5 gigabytes of RAM here. From what I read online, increasing the memory here past 3.5 gigabytes has a smaller and smaller effect on server performance. 3.5 gigabytes here works best for me on the server I run too. We'll save that file and then we'll run it. A command prompt should appear, then shortly after the Minecraft server interface should appear too and that'll prepare all the needed files for the server, including the spawn areas and whatnot. Now, in the past, I ran into a big problem where I would run the batch file, but the command prompt would open and then close really fast right after, and a Minecraft server interface would never show up. For me, this was because I had Java 8 installed. As of right now, Java 8 is considered unstable with CrazyCraft server operations. So go to your control panel, find Java 8, and uninstall it. Then, reinstall the 64-bit Java 7. You'll probably need to restart your computer after uninstalling Java 8. For me, Java 8 isn't displayed on my screen because I already deleted it and replaced it for, with Java 7. So, after all that's done, retry to run your batch file, and it should work. Now we have a working server interface. The next step is to connect to it. To do this, we need to download LogMeIn Hamachi. The link to this is in the description too. Download the unmanaged mode of Hamachi, then run the installer package. Once the program is installed, you'll need to set up an account that's linked to your email address by clicking the power button and following the instructions. I already have an account, so if you haven't already, make an account, then continue the video here. What you want to do now is press network, then press create a new network. Call it whatever you want and put a password if you want. This is the network that your friends must join to play Minecraft with you. It's essentially a virtual private network for you and your friends. From here, you can have other people connect to your network by pressing join an existing network. A problem I had previously was that my friends couldn't join my network and they kept getting the error message of this network doesn't exist. This happens because you may have already created a network in the past, deleted it or something like that, and your email address is still attached to the ownership of that network and not to the new network you just created. To fix this issue, all you have to do is right click on the new network and click on transfer ownership to your email address. Now, your Hamachi network is visible to the public and your friends can now join. To find the IP address that you and your friends need to connect to so you can play Crazy Craft together, right click on the text beside the power button to Hamachi Copy the IPv4 address, and there's your IP address. So, start up your server by running the batch file. Check that the Hamachi network is on by making sure that there's a little green dot beside the network name, and your server will soon be up and running. To connect to it, you first need to go ahead and run your void launcher. Scroll down to Crazy Craft, and then press play. If this is your first time opening Crazy Craft, this may take a while. But if you played it before, it should open pretty quickly. After the game window opens and loads, hit multiplayer, then press direct connect, then write your IP address you got from Hamachi 
into the text box, and then you should be placed into the game after a short load time. And there you have it, your very own crazy craft server for you and your friends to play on. If you guys have any problems with this setup, feel free to post in the comment section and include the error message or problem you're getting. I'll try my best to help. Thanks for watching.